All right, so we are doing exercise 9F, which is all about conditional probability. And in this video, we're looking at question 23A, which reads, at a certain school, it was found that 35% of the 500 boys, 35% of the 500 boys, and 40% of the 400 girls enjoyed bushwalking. One student from the school is chosen at random. Let G represent the event that the student is a girl, and B represent the event that the student enjoys bushwalking. Find correct to do two decimal places and then all of these. Okay, so let's begin with the first one, which is asking us to find the probability that we randomly choose a student who is a girl. And whenever we do these questions, we have to figure out, well, what is my sample space? How many students am I choosing out of? And it's obvious that if I'm choosing the probability of getting a girl, I'm choosing out of the entire school. So the school consists of boys and girls, 500 boys and 400 girls. So 500 plus 400 is going to be 900. So I'm choosing out of 900 students and I know I have 400 girls. So it's going to be 400 over 900, which is four on nine, which is the same as 0.444. Perfect. So that's our first answer. And remember, you're answering to two decimal places, but for whatever reason in the back of the book, it has it to three. So I'm just going to do it to three. All right. Next question. We're asked to find the probability that they enjoy bushwalking given they're a girl. Now, this is really quite easy to find because they've given it, given it to us in the question. We know that 40% of the girls enjoy bushwalking. 40% of the girls enjoy bushwalking. So the answer is just going to be 0 0.4. But I kind of want to show you how we know that. So we know that 40% of the girls enjoy bushwalking. Well, what is 40% of 400? And hopefully you know the answer to that. It is 160. So when we're figuring this out, what we're doing is, is saying, all right, we know that we're given girls. So we're no longer going to do it out of our total population. We're rather just going to say out of the girls. So it's going to be 400 instead of 900. And we know that 160 of them enjoy bushwalking. So it's going to be 160 over 400, which equals 0 0.4. So this is kind of the thinking that goes behind it, but it's given to us straight in the question itself. Let's now go to the next one, which is asking us to find the probability they enjoy bushwalking given they are a boy. So remember the complement of G is that they're a boy. So the probability that they enjoy bushwalking given that they're a boy. And again, this is given to us in the question. It's going to be 35%, which as a decimal would be 0 0.35. And again, if we wanted to understand the thinking behind this, what it is is that 35% of the 500 boys enjoy bushwalking and 35% of 500 is equivalent to 175. So that means what we're doing is, is we're not considering the entire population, rather we're just considering the population of boys. So that's going to be 500. And we know that 175 of these are going to enjoy bushwalking. So it's going to be 175 over 500. You can really see the importance of knowing what your denominator is or, or knowing the sample space that you're working with. And that's really going to determine a lot. So 175 over 500 is going to be 0.35. Let's now come to this question, question four, which is asking us to find the probability of the intersection of enjoying bushwalking and girls. And I imagine that if you're having trouble with this, with question 23, it's, be, it's going to be because of these two questions and figuring out what is my sample space for them. So what I want you to picture is that you have the entire school in front of you, all 900 students, and we're asking you, what's the probability of you choosing someone who is a girl and who enjoys bushwalking? Notice that we're not saying who enjoys bushwalking out of the girls. That was the given. We're doing this time, you've got the whole school in front of you, and you're asking, what's the probability that we're going to select someone who enjoys bushwalking and is a girl. So that's going to be 160 students. 160 students represents the girls who enjoy bushwalking. So that's going to be what we're thinking of, the intersection point. And 160 over 900 would be eight over uh, 45. And in the decimal, 
is going to be 0 0.178. Again, the back of the book has it in three decimal places and that's why I'm doing it to that. The last question is asking us to figure out the probability that they enjoy bushwalking with the intersection that they are a boy. Again, we're doing the entire school. All 900 students are in front of us. And then the boys, sorry, the, <laughs> this B is making me think boys, but it's bushwalking. The students who enjoy bushwalking and are boys is 175 students, 175 students. So it's 175 boys who enjoy bushwalking over the total population of the school, which is equivalent to seven on 36, which is the same as 0 0.194. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you in figuring out 23A.